Hello everyone, Reza here. In today's video, we will explore the attachments control in Power Apps. This control allows users to upload or delete files to SharePoint list items as attachments. We will see how we can use it inside a form control experience and also add the ability for the users to categorize or tag the attachments. So let's check it out in action. The attachments control in Power Apps is a control that allows users to upload, delete, and download files to their device. This control only works with SharePoint lists or Microsoft Dataverse tables. The upload and delete functionality associated with attachments works only inside a form control experience in Power Apps. In Power Apps, for the form control experience, when connected to a SharePoint list, I can go to edit fields and add that attachments field in here. This will allow the users to attach files to this specific list item. You can also select multiple files and drag and drop them right in here. And once I click on submit, all of these list item attachments will be associated with that specific list item. On click of any of these, it will go ahead and download that specific attachment. Now, if I was to upload attachments with the same file name, it will accept it. However, when I submit the data and come back to that attachment control experience, you will note that it will only keep one of them. List item attachments does not support versioning. So basically the user will lose that attachment if they upload it with the same name. The default setting for maximum attachments is six. This can be extended. The maximum limit around this is specified to be around 20. However, I have tested this for a scenario with more than 20 attachments. And here is an example of that. Also the maximum attachment size by default is 10 megs. This is per attachment. You can increase this up to 50 MBs. SharePoint list attachments support up to 250 MBs. However, the max limit here is 50. There are various scenarios in which you would like to categorize or tag your attachments. Here, I have a power app in which I have provided the ability for users to tag attachments. So if I was to select this specific expense item called metaverse event, I have my standard attachments control in here. However, I have added an extra ability to categorize or tag the attachment that is being uploaded in here. The current category is food. So if I go to attach a file and if I upload an attachment, we can see that the attachment that gets uploaded gets renamed with the category that I have plugged in in this dropdown. So the attachment control is currently accepting attachments related to the category food. If I keep uploading multiple files, they will all get tagged with the category food. If I change this to a different category and start uploading attachments, these will get categorized with the category gas. The user can go ahead and submit the form. When the user goes to view the event, this time the attachment categorization acts like a refiner or a filter. Currently it is showing all the attachments. If I was to change the filter here to food, it will only show me the attachments related to food and so on and so forth. So to categorize attachments, the only available option we have in play is to leverage the naming convention for our attachments. So let's see how we can dynamically create this attachment categorization behavior inside the attachments control in Power Apps. For the form control experience, head over to edit fields and add the attachments column. The data card, I will expand its width so I get more real estate to play with. For the attachments control, I will move it on the right hand side of the data card. 
to provide the categorization options for the attachment control, select the form screen and insert a drop down control. The reason why I am adding this control outside of the form control is because I want this control to always be editable for the user so they can use this to either tag the documents while uploading attachments when the form is in new mode or edit mode or to use it as a refiner when the form is in view mode. To load the options for tagging on the app object on the on start function, I will create a collection, collection of attachment tags. And this is where you can provide your tagging options. I have provided three options here, travel, gas, and food. These are hard coded in the app. You can make this dynamic and read this from a data source of your choice as well. I will right click on the app object and run the on start function. So I have this collection populated. For my drop down control of attachment tags, the items property now would be that collection. So we can see the attachment tags in play here. When the user uploads an attachment, I would like to go ahead and rename the attachment based upon the tag that the user has selected in this drop down. To do that, I need a collection that matches the schema of a standard attachments control. Once again, on the app on start function, I will create a collection called collection of attachments. I will use the defaults function on my data source, which is my SharePoint list of expenses dot attachments. Once again, I will run the on start function of the app for the attachments control. If I head over to advanced, we have action based functions here. One of them is called on add file. So when the user adds a file, that's when I would like to go ahead and update the name associated with the file that is being uploaded. I will use the clear collect function on my collection of attachments and I will use the function self dot attachments. So all the attachments in this control, plug them into my collection. Next, I need to update the name of my attached files based upon the tag or the selected value in this drop down control. I will use the function update if update the collection of attachments. When I rename my files, I will tag my files based on the name here and put a hyphen right after that and follow it by the actual name of the attachment. So to get the tag associated with the attachment, I will use the function split display name with hyphen split returns an array. I need the first value of the array. So I will use the first function and the result of this will be the tag that I need to check whether it does not exist in my collection of attachment tags. This entire condition I will run in a not operator. In that case, I would want to go ahead and update the item and I will update two properties. First is the name property, my drop down control dot selected dot value and concatenate this with my separator, which is hyphen and then keep the original name of the file. And exactly the same thing I will repeat for the display name property. I will close the item and then close my update if function. I'll click format text. This is the complete formula in action. For the attachments control, I will unlock its properties and change the items property to my collection of attachments. If I preview the app and attach a file, you will notice that it has added my tag, which is travel and then my separator, which is hyphen followed by the original name and extension of the file. If I change this to food and upload an attachment, 
it will do the same but this time with the tag food. When I navigate the user to the new form experience, on click of this icon, I am setting the mode of the form to new and then navigating the user to the form screen. This is where I need to ensure that I clear that collection of attachments because the user is creating a new form. The attachments collection has to be empty. When the user clicks on this edit icon, I am setting the mode of the form here to edit. Here, I will reload my attachments collection with this item, which is the selected item in the gallery, dot attachments. And I will take the same step when the user selects on the icon to view the form. Now, if I preview this app for my metaverse event, if I head over to edit, I will see all my attachments in play and they are categorized. If I head back and if I click on new, it will empty the attachments collection. Now, when the user goes to the view experience of the form, the attachment categorization here, I would like to change its behavior so that it acts like a refiner or filter. In the view mode of my form, I would like this drop down control to have an extra value in there called all so that the user can view all the attachments initially and then they can change this drop down to refine the attachments. When the user selects the icon to view a specific list item, I will write the following function if not of the all option in my collection of tags, go ahead and add to that collection the option all. And in case where the user is editing or adding a new list item, remove from my collection of attachment tags, the tag all. And I'll do the same thing when the user clicks on the plus icon. So if I view a specific item, I see the option for all. But if I edit a specific item, I will not get that option. Neither will I get the option when I'm creating a new item. I would like to default this dropdown to all. So select the dropdown control and the default property, set this to all. And every time the user visits the form screen, I will ensure that I reset that dropdown control. Now, in case of the view mode where I have this option for all, if the user was to change this, I would want to refine or filter the attachments that are being showcased here. For the items property of the attachments control, we will use the following formula. If my form control dot mode is equal to form mode dot view, filter my collection of attachments and my condition would be the drop down control dot selected dot value is equal to all or I'll use the function starts with the display name property. If that starts with the attachment tag drop down dot selected dot value and my character, which was hyphen. I will close my filter function. If the form is not in view mode, in that case, I will straight away leverage my collection of attachments. This is the complete items formula in action. Now, if I preview the app, I am in the view mode of the form. Observe how the attachment tag selected here is gas. So it only shows me the value for gas. If I change this to all, it will show me all the values. Now you can also add multiple attachment controls to the form experience. So the tagging or the categorization aspect of attachments are those controls itself. So here I am connected to that same SharePoint list of expenses. Here's my metaverse event. I'll select this. You will observe that I have multiple attachments control. I have project attachments. I have travel attachments. And then I have a section called attachments. I have locked down the attachments control. So the user cannot add anything here, 
they will basically add it in these specific categorizations. And you can even make these as mandatory fields. For example, in this case, project related attachments or travel related attachments are required. So check this out. I can go and select multiple attachments, of course, and drag and drop them right in here. So these are now tagged as project related attachments, and they are all showing up with that specific tag name standard once again, right here. And if I want to add travel related attachments, I will push them in this attachments control. Now, if I go ahead and submit the form, all of these attachments would be stored in my SharePoint list item. And if I get back to that item, I can see those same categorizations in play here. I will make both of these apps available for downloading, the links to which will be in the description for this video. So do check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.